Hi everyone, my name is Arshita Basira and today I am welcoming you to my YouTube channel. So today's topic of discussion is how was uh, my interview experience at PhonePay. Well, here I want to make sure that I am not working at PhonePay currently. I was rejected but today I just want to share the interview experience at PhonePay because uh, out of all the interviews I have given for the analytics role, this uh, the phone page interview was something where I learned a very new thing. So I thought to like if you are uh, if you have already applied at phone pay and you want to know how the interview process is going on on phone pay, then this video is completely for you. And if you want. Uh, and yeah, obviously, if you are if you haven't applied for uh, the role uh, at phone pay, still you can watch and obviously expand your areas of learning. So without any further delay, let's get started. Okay, so the number one question is how I applied at phone pay. So or uh, at that time uh, on LinkedIn, there were many posts. Uh, I saw related to the hiring at phone pay and uh, uh, I also applied uh, related to the my role that uh, that is business analyst. I have applied in multiple positions like business analyst or BI engineer data analyst uh, and so on and uh, I also DM uh, various persons or employees at phone, who are working at uh, phone pay for the referral and uh, then on uh, a random day i also dm a uh, like person like so i am looking for a job uh, in analytics field are there any openings at phone pay and uh, you can uh, you know check out my resume and all i have dm that person and uh, within a uh, two or three hours I got the reply from him that uh, like Harshita we have already received your uh, application uh, like uh, why they said that because I have already applied via their websites and uh, they already had my resume and they already liked my profile uh, they like uh, and they wanted to uh, connect with me to know more about my education or professional journey okay so hearing all these words I was very like I was over the moon I was very happy like uh, in uh, because that time I was I, fa I faced many rejections and all I was very demotivated that time and hearing all that words was make me makes me motivated that time and uh, uh, I got call from them uh, from phone pay and after some uh, little chit chat on my education work experience and all uh, though I didn't have any uh, didn't had with, um, much experience I was just college pass out that time but still they considered my application uh, and uh, within a week I got interview call from phone pay and uh, it was a very great moment for me obviously <laughs> okay so for the next part still be continue okay okay now the question is what happened at interview so i was very very nervous like what will be the questions they will ask what should i prepare I was completely blank they just said that there will be a technical interview and I had some surety that they will ask me related to my introduction like what I'm doing at all introduction and uh, though it is it was a technical it will be a technical round then I obviously focused on the tools related uh, questions much and uh, the day, the day comes finally i was sitting in front of a camera and then suddenly i got a call 
from the person who will interview who will be interviewed uh, and he said that uh, sorry harshita we will conduct the interview after half an hour and i was very nervous what exactly happened why did this uh, like said and all but still i wait for uh, again half an hour and finally the interview conducted and uh, in the interview the interview was completely technical and com- and solely based on sql and uh, where they not um uh, like asked any theoretical question like what is self join it on no they uh, said me has to open an excel file and share the share your screen and whatever questions i will uh, ask uh, you need to write the query of that in that excel file okay and i was completely nervous because i didn't practice much related to the writing queries i thought that it will be a, it will a basic interview but it was not obviously and but still i had that time i had a good uh command over excel because i was uh, because from the last 2 uh, 3 weeks i was continuously practicing sql by god grace uh, the interview was solely focused on the sql also so i have write some uh, they asked some questions related to sql the first one was basic uh, to find the top uh, uh, customers and all and uh, the sec- and they and the rest of the question was uh, based on the joints so here i want to mention that first thing is sql is very important tool if you are targeting a analytic role or if you are targeting to enter into analytics field so sql is obviously a very important tool second thing is your foundation should or must be clear because in that interview they didn't ask much or uh, many advanced related queries they mostly focused on the foundation but st- uh still uh, peop- what people do is they mostly focus on advanced things but uh, they uh, sometimes forgot to focus on the foundations so here i want to emphasize that uh, never neglect the foundations joins sub queries uh, group by uh, so these are the some uh, concepts which uh, which we need to uh, understand very clearly so that's what i have understand and obviously they have also asked me about my uh, myself like the like tell me about your um, about yourself these were the question and second lastly they also uh, asked me that uh, do you have any questions so here at phone pay uh they have uh, emphasized this question a more, a more okay uh, so they just wanted to uh here the main purpose of this question is to uh, know that whether the candidate is interested or not so uh, obviously i have asked one question that what will be the day to day activities of this role so they have clearly explain uh, everything about the role and uh, the interview ends and yeah uh, within 10 minutes i got to call that uh, i am available for the next round yeah okay now after selecting for the round 2 uh, i was very happy though i was nervous too because uh, the first round was not as easy as i thought now i got a call that i was selected for the second round and the second round was com- uh, was mostly focused on the case studies or some uh, bi tool related and uh, for that i had a one day preparation time i have prepared all the uh, means questions uh, 
with the help of chat gpt or uh, i also googled some of the questions like what exactly the uh, questions are in the like they asked in the topic that is case study related and i have prepared and uh, i also prepared related to the uh, questions related to the power bi power bi uh, but i had focused a uh, much on the case studies and uh, not focused much on the power bi uh, and uh, when interview begins uh the uh, the interviewer see that you have already uh, like passed the or cracked the interview where they mostly focused on sql now in this interview we will be we will be mostly focus on power bi and that time i was very nervous because i have mostly focused on the case studies and uh, in the interview they are saying that power we will be more focusing much on the power bi but then uh, i thought okay whatever i have knowledge about the power bi i will give my 100% now the interview begins and they and his first question was what do you know about this role and i was very uh, like that time i was blank because i didn't uh, research a lot about that role the role was bi engineer i was very nervous how to answer it but still based on some uh, uh, like whatever i had in my mind i just uh, like uh, uh, shared and will i uh, i already had in my mind that i have done a very big mistake that is not researching a lot about the role and here i want to mention that if you are applying for any role just make sure to prepare two three lines for that role or do some research about that role this was the big mistake which i have realized now and then also at that time but uh here i just want to mention that uh always be ready for uh any questions related to the role you are applying for so make sure always be prepared for this types of questions secondly they i uh, they were uh, they have also asked uh many questions related to the power bi i have i have al also answered many questions and second thing which i have noticed in that interview was that whatever answer i was giving to the interviewer related to the questions they have asked the next question was based on my answers for example i have noticed that uh they have asked uh a uh, one questions where uh where i have i am not able to recall the exact question but uh, uh i have mentioned the normalized word in my answer like normalizing the database or uh, something related to that and they suddenly stopped me and they uh, uh like they have already they already get idea that uh she know the answer now just tell me what do you mean by normalized or normalized columns whatever so here i want to again mention or emphasize that make sure whatever words or the topics you are mentioning in your answer you uh, have some basic knowledge of that uh though i have answered what uh, uh, do you like mean by normalized i have answered that questions but here i want to mention that uh, wisely uh wisely mention the words or the things in your answer 
because the next question will be based on your answers okay so interview is not a kind of a scripted uh, thing it's solely depend on the answers you are providing okay so this was the thing and second uh, and the third thing was uh, which was uh, i my, my second interview was not uh, as good as my first round of interview uh, because i was first i was nervous why because uh, then they asked me the que- uh, the first question that what do you mean by uh what do you know about this role and i didn't able to answer that question and that nervousness keep in my uh, mind till the end of the interview so this was the mistake i have done and uh, due to that i didn't able to uh, answer another questions so this was the mistake i have done so at the end of the uh, second round i get a idea that maybe i will not able to uh, crack this interview but still i had some 0.999 percentage of surety that maybe i get selected but uh, obviously within 2 days i got a rejection mail from the phone pay that uh, harshita we will not be able to continue with this uh and uh, obviously i cried a lot because i had a because i got a, a i got the very big opportunity to be interviewed with phone pay and uh, with the professionals of having 7 or 14 plus years of experience and i have learned a lot the like the kind of the interview method the questions the uh Uh, how they process everything uh how the phone pay works i also got the uh, some uh, ideas about how they work uh, at phone pay because at the end they uh, as i mentioned they asked me question uh, they asked me that do you have any question so i asked about that so i got very good experience and due to though like though i didn't clear that this interview but uh, due to this experience my future interviews got improved and uh, that's what matter it at the end of the day okay so if you are also targeting any role at these uh, kinds of big companies or even a startups always make sure to research about your role and never uh, like m- miss the opportunity of asking the question if they are telling you that do you have any questions this will give you a broader uh, as uh, this will give you a more opportunity to know about the organization or your role or your day to day activities uh, and many things and obviously never forget or never neglect the power of foundations yes there are most of the interviews uh, are focusing foundational topics because they know that a uh, candidates is mostly focus on the advanced things and all for the interview but they uh, less focus on the uh, foundation and they got opportunity to go with that direction so always make sure to uh, make uh, to strong your foundations and uh, and yeah obviously and yeah most importantly uh, focus on what you are answering because your next question will be based on that okay okay so hope you have learned some important things from this experience and uh, i hope your future uh, interviews will improve from this little mistakes of mine and uh, if you like you can subscribe and like my channel